Well, I'm here at White River Snow Park on Mount Hood. Uh, my daughter has wanted to go snow backpacking for a long time, and it's never worked out for various reasons. So, this is the year. And I'm really excited to be up here, man. It's so beautiful. The air is so crystal clear, and everything smells good, and the sun's out. It's a beautiful spring day. It's like 40 degrees. It's gonna be about 30 tonight. Anyways, look at that view. And uh, there's some other day hikers up around, or day snowshoers around, but basically got the place to ourselves. I love it. It's so beautiful. Anyways, she's already about eight miles ahead of me because <laughs> she's in a lot better shape than I am, so I'm going to keep moving. <laughs> we made it a ways up and it's absolutely beautiful and quiet except for birds chirping. Um, my knee was kind of hurting so we only went up uh, maybe like a mile to a mile and a half. But it's an absolutely beautiful spot. Pretty much got the place to ourselves. There's a few skiers and snowboarders behind us. And we're hungry because we just stomped down our area for the night. Which you can see right there. So... The recommendation I read was to uh, stomp it down, you know, pack the snow, and then let it freeze for a while, like set up, and then we'll put our tent over there. We're on like six feet of snow, so we could dig a snow cave, but I've never done that before, so I don't want that to be my only way to get a, out of the wind tonight. So I'm going to put up the tent, and then if I have the energy, I'm going to work on a snow cave after that. But first I'm going to eat, because I'm starving. Food! Oh, uh, cookie dough protein bar. Usually they're pretty hard. This one's not that. Is it new? Uh, they're newer, yeah. Okay. And it's because it was in your pack, which is warm. I got Kirkland Nut Bar. You can tell we shop at Costco. <laughs> Man, I really want my brownie now that you mentioned it. <laughs> well, you can have it. Do you want a cookie? Oh, actually, not gluten free, sorry. Yeah. Homemade gluten-free brownies with Reese's Pieces in it. Perk me right up. Go ahead, you got some. Oops. Mmm. Mmm. It's good, right? I'm really that excited about it. Mm. Hi, we heard you. I heard you. I was like, that's gotta be what I hear. <laughs> oh, you're fine. So, we made it up here, got the tent set up, and I'm working on a snow cave. And oh, some, weirdo some friends up. came by. Yeah. 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 We should have brought provisions from Joe's. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we talked about it. Tony, Tony tried to bring it to you. It's like so you're going to get beat up on the way no, up. And oh, donuts? And yeah, it does donuts. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. See? Penelope would have appreciated it. I was yeah. like, there's no way we're going to actually find it. Uh, like, put the visitors to work. <laughs> Got some slave labor here working on the entrance to the snow cave. I guess I should mention that's my brother in law. No, just a random person. <laughs> and that's my sister. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you want to stand here, stranger, you got to dig. <laughs> well, I got started on Snow Fort. It's a lot of work, but I'm about halfway done. So there's already a hole in there. I'm going to go in there right now and dig. Woohoo! 
<laughs> well, time kind of got away from us. Uh, it's actually brighter out here than it looks, but um, I got busy building the snow cave and Penelope helped a whole lot. She also gathered a bunch of firewood. I did none of the firewood gathering. She also made an igloo-like wind break for us, so the fire's perfect. And we're heating up some f water for dinner. Tent's all set up. We've been sitting here to rest and whatnot. And then over here, it's kind of hidden, but got a big old snow cave built. Big enough for the two of us. And uh, the plan is to, to give that a try tonight. I've never slept in a snow cave before, so I'm pretty excited. So I've got my trusty MSR stove and just some cheap fuel. I read a good tip online that to uh, keep your fuel from freezing to the snow to use a little heating pad or, or like hot pad or something like that. So just brought that from home, only cost me a couple ounces and seems to be doing the trick. So we're getting set up in our snow cave. Just big enough for two, hopefully. Slept pretty good in the snow cave. I was a little colder than I thought I'd be, but uh, I feel like it was a good experiment. So this is the uh, the view inside here. Hi. I wanted to do more to this when I was building it than I had time for because it took a little longer than I thought. Definitely budget several hours with two people or more. But um, I was going to make it just a little bit taller and the width is fine. I was going to make some little shelves on the side that would have been handy for like um, headlamp and phone and stuff. One thing is you want to slope the ceiling this way and that way if you can so that any drips that occur from your breath and so forth um, find their way to a wall instead of down onto you. Uh, we didn't actually have any problem with drips last night but that's not so much because of a great design as it was we just didn't have the need for it. The air is really dry and the opening's pretty big. It's bigger than it needs to be, so we got plenty of airflow in, which uh, was great, you know. But um, I think that's why we didn't have any real condensation problems. But if I were doing it again, I would just spend a little bit more time so I didn't feel rushed and try to make it a little bit bigger. And, you know, as much headroom as you have, that's just a comfort thing, so that'll feel good. But this was adequate. You know, we've got two feet from floor to ceiling here. Just plenty to move around. I've been in tents that doesn't have that much headroom, so I'm pretty excited about it. My first night in a snow cave went well. She slept warmer than I did. She usually does, so good for her. I was a little chilly, especially my feet. I got up in the middle of the night to take some pictures, and that actually warmed up my feet walking around, so that was good. Then I got back in my bag, and I was okay the rest of the night. Got probably you know three or four good hours of sleep, and you know we were in here for nine hours total, so. Anyway, all right, breakfast time. Uh, 
I always do oatmeal for camp breakfast. One pack and send some plain because the packs are too sweet for me. And then you just mix in boiling water and it's done. Got to dump the boiling water on the camera. We got tea. That mug is vacuum insulated. So it actually works pretty good for this situation. In the snow, you can just set it around the snow. It's not, no big deal. This bowl is not insulated, but that's okay. Are you ready? How much? Um, that's good. And then we'll just set this here to cool a little and we'll put that in our water bottle before we leave. So this water's still warm and <clears throat> I don't have a lot of water left over from last night and breakfast in my water container. So I'm going to actually put some snow in that and that'll do two things. It'll produce more water to drink on the way down to put in my water bottle and it'll cool it off faster so I can pack it. So I let some time pass. and. It's just pleasantly warm now, which is fine because everything else is cold, so I don't mind it being just a little bit warm. Yeah, let's pour this in my container for drinking water today. A little extra, I'll just down the hatch on that. A little moss and ash in there for extra fiber. Back in the car, we made it, we survived. Yep, through the beautiful weather. Yeah, it was really nice. I'm just a cold sleeper, I guess. I don't know, my feet, not warm enough. Yeah, you said you're gonna be warm, I predicted it. You're, you were freezing. She was right. So, what next, home? Uh, well you promised me darko time. I said if you were helpful, let's see. Were you helpful? Okay. Time it is. Whoa, my steering wheel's in the way. What'd you get, Penelope? A veggie burrito? <laughs> and a large order of stuffed Mexican fries? Stuffed Mexican fries. I love those things so much. They're so good. And then that's not even it because look where we are. I don't think you can see the sign. Yeah, well, if you're from around here, you know what Joe's Donuts is, so. She's even getting a cake donut from Joe's Donuts because she's spoiled. She even carries as much stuff as I did. I often. <laughs>